Hi Bobcats! In this video we're going to take a look at some more solution vocabulary. Again, these aren't words that you will see on a test where I just flat out ask for the definition. I know anyway, it's possible there might be something like that, but that will be a little teeny bit of the test. The more important thing is that you really understand what these words mean so that you're able to answer questions where picking the correct answer choice is hinging on correctly understanding what each one of these words means. Our objective is to define some of the terms surrounding solubility, such as unsaturated, saturated, supersaturated, miscible, and immiscible. The two images on this slide represent an unsaturated solution and a saturated solution. I made the, these two solutions in my kitchen at home. I took a glass and I added salt to it and I stirred the salt around until it all dissolved up. That gave an unsaturated solution. To turn this unsaturated solution into a saturated solution, I kept adding salt and stirring until finally some of the salt did not dissolve. An unsaturated solution is one that can still potentially dissolve more of your solute. The saturated solution is one that has dissolved as much as is possible for the solution to dissolve. And typically with a saturated solution, you add a little bit extra of the solute, which in this case was table salt, to demonstrate that it really is saturated. Because if it was possible for that salt to dissolve, with the amount of time that it was given and with all the stirring that I gave it, it would have dissolved. So the fact that it can't dissolve demonstrates that this is actually a saturated solution. There's a closely related term called supersaturated. A solution that is supersaturated is very unstable. It's not something that you normally encounter. And typically, something has been done to trick the solution. Um, a supersaturated solution holds more solute than it should be able to under the given conditions. Most often, you will trick the solution into dissolving extra solute by heating it up. Most solids will have a higher solubility at higher temperatures. So if you heat up your solution, you'll be able to get more solute to dissolve. Sometimes, if you're really careful and a little bit lucky, as you cool down that solution, everything will stay dissolved. Even though at room temperature, all of that solute shouldn't be dissolved. The result is this really unstable solution known as a supersaturated solution. If you visit this YouTube video, you will see in real time how rapidly the, uh, the sodium acetate will crystallize once something tips it over. Um, you can do this by dropping in a seed crystal, which is simply a crystal of the substance that creates a nucleation site or a spot where the crystals can start to grow. Sometimes just bumping the container is enough to induce crystallization. To just put all of that into writing, an unsaturated solution is one where less than the maximum amount of solute has been dissolved into your solvent. A saturated solution is one that has the maximum possible amount of solute dissolved up. And we typically demonstrate this by leaving some undissolved solute on the bottom of the flask. We'll study this quite a bit more in chapter 17 when we're looking at equilibriums and KSPs. And then a supersaturated is a very unstable scenario where you have tricked the solution into dissolving more solute than it should be able to dissolve under the current conditions. Uh, this is unstable and probably won't be the answer to any sort of a question unless something in the statement of the question demonstrates that the solution was heated up to trick extra solute into dissolving.
two more words are used to describe the solubility of solutions, miscible and immiscible. These two words are used specifically when both your solute and your solvent are liquids. Miscible means two liquids that are completely soluble in each other in any proportion. This happens when the IMFs are very similar to one another. And an example of this would be acetic acid and water. Acetic acid and water both have hydrogen bonding as their dominant intermolecular force. Immiscible describes two liquids that will not dissolve in each other. You might be able to shake them together and for a brief moment make it look like they mixed up, but if you give them any time to settle out, they'll settle out into two different layers. That's what's illustrated in this diagram where there's a photo of hexane and water. This is what happens when the uh, intermolecular forces in the substance are different, um, such as uh, London dispersion forces in an oil or something like hexane and uh, hydrogen bonding in something like water. To round up this video, we looked at the definition of a number of terms that are used to describe solubility, unsaturated, saturated, supersaturated, miscible, and immiscible.